Hey guys, uh, in this video I'm going to be using Basil to build a bit of a practical project. Uh, I'm going to be building a tool uh, that uses a specific Python interpreter uh, that is using kind of specific external packages. And uh, the reason why and the way that I think this is practical is that uh, I have this uh, running on, on uh, different different machines, different users are using this uh, this tool. And I don't have to worry about uh, which pack, uh, which Python version people have installed. Uh, I don't want to have to worry about if they have the target packages, if they've run the uh, package installs, pip installs or, or whatever uh, like that. I just want them to be able to run the tool and I want Basel to take care of uh, downloading all of the dependencies, making sure that the interpreter is correct and uh, that all of the libraries are correctly installed. So uh, so let's start. So I have a I just have a, an empty project here, and what I what I like to do in the beginning is uh, I just wanna <clears throat> for the sake of this uh, this tutorial I'm just going to get the Basil executable here, and I'm going to open up a terminal in this uh, this folder, and I'm gonna run Basil, Basil or Basil.exe. Uh, and it's going to complain because uh, yeah, there's nothing there. So uh, we're going to start by just setting up uh, a simple, uh, simple project that actually uh, runs. So we add a file, the workspace file, and we add a build file. And these are kind of the uh, minimum kind of requirements <coughs> for a project like this. So now that I run this, it starts a local server and gives me the uh, a local Basel server and it gives me all of the uh, kind of commands that I have available and I can do build build all and that's going to build all and it's not going to find any packages because we just have an empty project but it uh, creates all of the output folders and all of the structures so uh, the uh, so this would be the basic project finished uh, next up we're going to go and we are going to uh, download the uh, uh, kind of the logic or the or the rules that are going to enable us to do all of this uh, stuff with Python. So, in the workspace file, we add the uh, the HTTP archive. Uh, this is going to allow us to download uh, external, just all sorts of external things, external rules. And uh, I'm going to add the uh, the Python rules. So the Python rules are coming from uh, from this uh, directory here, GitHub Basil Build Rules Python. So if we take a quick look at that. Uh, you can see that uh, these are uh, these are actually pretty pretty interesting. There's a lot of a lot of things that you can do with them. We we'll just take a quick look at the documentation. Uh, the core thing that we're going to be using is Py binary because Py binary actually allows us to run uh, our Python script. So it compiles the Python files into uh, an executables and executable, and it's going to uh, allow us to uh, run it. So I would note that uh, going through this, I had some. <coughs> problems just copy pasting the code in uh, into my script so I made some modifications I went in here into the uh, into this document here got this piece of code and that actually worked uh, so the uh, the goal is not really to go into and talking about the uh, yeah go into the documentation itself but uh, the work that I uh, what I'm going to show show off, show off here is, is heavily based on this and basically just showing that uh, uh, yeah walking through the steps in here so if we go back to our code uh, we uh, we've now uh, defined. Uh, we're going to say we're going to get the the Python rules. Next thing that we want to do is from the Python rules, uh, we are going to add the logic that uh, uh, regis allows us to register the uh, Python toolchain. So the the logic is called Python register toolchain. Uh, so here you can see it. Uh, we use the package that we just downloaded here, and within this package uh, we're fetching a rule. Uh, bzl file uh, under the python package so if we go back here into the web browser we can actually take a look at uh, the python package that is here and the repository repositories uh, rule is here and then if we go and uh, we search this we're going to find python register toolchains in here so uh, it's pretty good to uh, to know this uh, if you're trying to debug something uh, and I, I had to go in and uh, just to understand what was going on I would go in and um, uh, try to figure this out so uh, so now we have a, a function uh, from the we have a function now from the uh, the python rules so the rules python so the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to uh, register our uh, toolchain so we call a function called python register 
uh, tool chain and uh, this is the function that we loaded here uh, we give it a name python uh, 3.9 and we give it a version here so uh, let's, see. let's see let's see let's see ah, yeah. so basically what we're doing is that we are uh, registering uh, uh, basically we're saying that we want to be using uh, python 3.9 that is uh, downloaded uh, before we actually run something so uh, so let's see if we can uh, actually run this now. Uh, we're going to go into our, our build file. And uh, what we need to do is we are going to add, a, uh, let's see, let's say that uh, downloading and registering the file uh, isn't really done. I'm trying to, trying to follow the, uh, the task list here. So uh, under the rules Python packets that we just downloaded from here, rules Python, uh, we have uh, here def definitions and we get the uh, the rule uh, Python binary and the Python binary uh, can be used like this we do pi binary and we open up and we give it a name uh, and we're gonna call it uh, main uh, we give it a source file and that's gonna be an array of files and we're gonna do main dot um, and that's uh, and that's pretty much it so uh, we if we do it like this and like that, like this. Here we go, and like so. So now we uh, we're actually going to be executing a Python. Uh, so we have a uh, we're going to be running a Python uh, main dot pi, which is our tool, uh, through this uh, kind of this rule. So uh, let's see what happens if we just run this. We're going to do basil.exe. We're going to do let's do run. Uh, because we're using the pi uh, binary uh, build action or, or build rule and we're going to do main and we're going to do this is from the uh, from the root package we're going to do main and uh, so now what's happening is you can see that uh, because i'm running this it is actually downloading our python interpreter because it's uh, it depends on it but uh, the problem is that it's uh, if you can see yeah, actually all disappears. But basically, what's happening is that once we run this now, because we we have the uh, the rules package here and we did uh, register a tool chain here, uh, it's actually downloading the Python 3.9 uh, version for us and it's using that to execute our script. So uh, so what it's complaining about now it's that there is a missing input file here. So uh, let's just go in here and make a main.py file and I'm just going to do uh import sys so system is uh, just from the from the basic uh python library and i'm going to do print sys dot version so this should print the the version of the python interpreter that we're using let's try this again so now uh, all we did was we added the the main uh, python file here and let's run this again uh, so it's downloading the uh, i think it's downloading the python again uh, setting everything up and then it uh, prints out the version here which is 3.9 uh, so let's uh, so yeah so that's uh, uh, that's pretty cool so now uh, basically what I have right now is we have downloaded Python and we've uh, we've downloaded Python and we've registered a tool chain uh, to be able to use that so now uh, we can build all sorts of um, all sorts of scripts uh, if you wanted to run this on any computer uh, even a computer that doesn't have Python installed you can just run this and um, uh, it will download Python for you and, and set everything up but uh, but the thing that I always really wanted to do uh, was I wanted to make it so that uh, I could install. So the problem is going to be that if I want to do something more complex, for example, if I want to do import uh, requests. So request is an external uh, library that uh, allows us to do um, requests to the to the Internet uh, web requests, I think. Uh, so request is not uh, available in the kind of the standard library it's a it's a package that needs to be installed uh, to be able to be used so uh, when I run this uh, we are going to have uh, let's see what happens so everything is set up everything is built and then we get an error saying uh, there's no module named requests here so in a lot of cases at least in my past what I would do it I would go to all of the users and I would say uh, you should probably do pip install requests and then uh, there's going to be some version of request that is going to be installed on the uh, on the user's machine uh, which I don't want uh, I want the Python uh, interpreter that is downloaded here uh, to actually use the uh, uh, to have ver uh, requests available 
and the uh, and the way that we do that is uh, we use something uh, and this is something that we uh, that I just took from the from the documentation so uh, I have a package here called Python 3.9 which is the kind of the tool chain that we registered here uh, and inside of uh, inside of uh, Python uh, 3.9 the package there is a defs uh, definitions file and uh, and this is uh, yeah, so there's this vest and there's a, uh, a file here or a, uh, I guess it's just a thing I'm not sure what this is called interpreter and this uh, gives me access to the actual interpreter that is downloaded inside of the package so all I have to do now is uh, from the from the Python rules package uh, I'm going to uh, download or I'm going to make available in my workspace pip install and I'm going to call a function called uh, this function here called pip install uh, and I'm going to give this a name uh, which is going to be called my pip install so this is the package that this is going to go into name equals my pip install uh, this is going to take in a requirements file and uh, requirements file is something used by by the the pip the python package manager to uh, control the uh, versions and, and things like that. So uh, I'm going to do requirements. That's probably not how you spell it. Oh yeah, it was nice. Uh, and uh, we don't have a requirements file, so uh, I'm just going to make a new file here, requirements.txt. And uh, if you worked with Python, this is uh, this is a pretty standard thing. So we're going to do the requests library here. And we're going to say this is the version of it. This was the latest version when I when I checked. Um, I'm going to do the requirements file is going to be at the root. And now I'm just going to give a link to the uh, to the requirements file. So here we go. It's the it's uh, uh, it's the root of the workspace and the workspace is a package. So we do requirements. Trying to uh, not making any spelling errors. Txt. Here we go. And uh, if I do it like this, uh, this is just going to be installed into my uh, my environment, my uh, my system installed Python. So what I need to do is that through pip install here, I'm going to add the Python interpreter target, and I'm going to set that to the interpreter that we loaded earlier here. Uh, so this is going to tell the pip install. Uh, kind of function or pip install uh, logic to install uh, or make available uh, the requirements in, in here uh, from the requirements that, that we're going to be defining or we would defined inside of the requirements.txt package uh, inside of this uh, uh, inside of this interpreter here. All right, so, uh, so now we have actually installed pip and we have uh, added the uh, requirements uh, uh, kind of the requirements setting a uh, requirements uh, file so uh, so now we're gonna see if this uh, this works and uh, we actually don't have to do it we know this is not gonna work uh, so we are running the like all of this logic is here but nothing is referencing it so we're not telling our build file that we're actually supposed to use it so we're not telling the pi binary that there is a require uh, that we have a requirement uh to the uh yeah we're not we're not saying that this python file here this tool that we're building requires the pip uh, the requests library so the way that we do that is um, we're going to do uh, we're going to do load and we need to load a package and the package that we're loading is the my pip install package that we uh, we created here here we go and inside of that we have uh, the requirements uh, rules and from the requirements rule we're going to uh, load a function called requirements a requirement and this allows us to uh, in the pi uh, binary uh, rule here we're going to do uh, dependencies we're going to open this and we're going to do requirement and requests requests so this is going to tell that uh, when we uh, when we run the binary here uh, make the binary uh, this 
the request library here or the request module is supposed to be made available so it's a dependency on uh, yeah so it is yeah basically our python script has a dependency on the uh, requests module so uh, so let's see what happens now uh, now we run this you can see that uh, something is being downloaded we're doing uh, the we're fetching stuff from uh, from pip install and uh, uh, now it's building and packaging and finishing the building and then if everything goes as planned we should be seeing uh, the version this actually runs now and uh, just for fun we do print requests dot version and we run this again and uh, here we go so it should be running again and here we can see that uh, we have the uh, requests library available to us in our tool so uh, so this is the uh, so this is what I wanted to uh, wanted to walk through uh, basically what we did is that we went through a basic uh, basic project here uh, we set up <coughs> set up kind of the environment we set up a build file and a workspace file we downloaded Python uh, and we registered Python as a tool chain using the Python uh, let's see the Python rules here uh, and I'm going to put the uh, the link to the uh, Python rules in the description of this video. Uh, we installed pip, the Python package manager, uh, and uh, added the requirements file, telling the uh, basically defining which version of the uh, of the module of the Python module that we wanted to have available, and then we executed the script with an external uh, library. So basically, this means that uh, we could easily make tools uh, with Co complex or custom dependencies and we don't have to worry about the end user or whoever is running it or, who, or anyone who needs to build this or work with this uh, we don't have to worry about the environment uh, for them so uh, so that's it for now um, definitely if you uh, enjoyed this content or this video uh, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel because I, I really enjoy doing this and I'd love to do more and if there's anything uh, any kind of subjects that you would like me to uh, cover uh, definitely let me know I'm on my own uh, journey of learning basil so uh, so things may not always be correct but uh, but this is uh, I'm really having fun with making this video so uh, if you like them uh, definitely let me know thank you